think maybe that just goes down there. I was so desperate, like literally the most desperate send. Right, so this is the third day in Albarracin, and today I am gonna try this 7B called Eclipse. Uh, I've been told it's a bit of a soft 7B, so I'm gonna try my best to flash it. So if I do flash it, I'll be the happiest man in the world. <laughs> and if I don't, I'll just try it again. Hopefully it won't go uh, in too many attempts, but yeah, we are about to see. Eclipse, or Eclipse, as the locals would say, it's a boulder problem that climbs on a steep roof and has some meaty, burly moves. The block doesn't have particularly bad holds, I'd rather say that they are all fairly good for the grade. It's another of the top 5 blocks that I really wanted to try on this trip and my hopes for flashing it were also high, as I thought that this could be a climb that suited me perfectly. The block features a set of tensioning moves including toe cams, drop knees and bicycles and it climbs in a mix of crimps, pockets and a couple of good old jogs. One of the things I was unsure of though was the top out, as I'm not particularly good at them. However, there were many climbers trying it so fortunately I got to watch different methods. Right, so last attempt didn't go as planned, however I think there is loads of room for improvement. I think I got one of those first undercuts, like not really well. I think I got my hand placement like totally off. Uh, so I rest for a bit and try and get in. I think I did it a bit better than the first time, however I did mess up the sequence a bit again. So I think I can skip one hole that I tried to use before, and I think that was easier. But just in the middle of it, I just puff around a bit, a bit too much, and then I was rinsed I think. And then I think there's a few more things I can implement on the next try, so hopefully, hopefully I go see him. Come on, Chris. Come on. 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 Come on.
Well done. Come on, Chris. Well done. Yeah. I was well chuffed for having ticked off this block, although I big got it, I guess, as I couldn't flush it. But one can't have everything. Next up was this green climb called Alto Copete. It's a 7A plus that features brilliant roof climbing until you get to the lip. Then it's just an awkward top out where you have to fight for your life as you scratch your forearms on a crimpy slab. I don't rate this climb at all and I'm happy that I went on my second attempt. I won't be trying it again. So I just had a play on El Quebranta Huesos, I think that's the name of it, and it looks like a really scary 7A. Uh, I think the moves were okay, but then I couldn't figure out how to top it out. So I tried it like a few times and then I had to call it. I'm not gonna waste all my energy on that. Now I am in front of Brainstorm, which is another techie or on the techie side of things uh, block uh, that I'm expecting to not flash at all. Uh, I just have a few goes, maybe tops five, rule of five, if I get it in five fine, if not I'll just move on. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes, it's a classic and it looks beautiful, so wish me luck. total failure on Brainstorm. I was kind of expecting it, um, but I had to try it just because it's a mega classic. Um, anyway, I have to move on now into some other climbs. Athiras is the next problem I went to try. It's a 70 plus that I thought that I could cruise, but instead of this, it was rather a humbling experience. As I got speed out on the flash go, and then I fell right at the bottom on the second try. After pulling on for the third time, I realized that I was perhaps running low on scent juice and that maybe I didn't have it in me for that block. So I decided to leave it there and try the twin block on the left of it called Auscuras, which is a tad easier at 7A and also has nicer holds. To finish off, we went on a mission to find this block, the name of which I won't dare to say out loud, which is a 7A mega classic of the Techos area. I was unsure of whether there was any chance I could put it out of the bag at this point, as I knew that this block is a mixture of burly but also technical moves, and I simply didn't know what to expect.
I was so desperate, like literally the most desperate scent. <sighs> anyway, I felt I was like 90% gonna fall from that. Somehow I managed it, yeah. Yes. Well, that was me done for that day. I really, really thought I was not gonna be able to climb that block, but somehow I managed to finish it. This is the end of day three in Albarracín, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. There's still one more video coming up on the following weeks, and that will be the last one of this Albarracín series. So stay tuned. If you want to support my channel, please like the video, drop me a comment and subscribe.